talk a little bit about dictators. Uh, dictators are a unique uh, situation where folks, uh, uh, if you're in a bad situation as the Romans, you uh, have the ability to, under your emergency powers, to appoint a dictator. Uh, the dictator can only be dictator for a year, and he has uh, uh, some significant benefits in his powers. The first thing he gets to do is subtract his initiative rating from Senate permission rolls, which is a biggie. Uh, he can control more armies at a given time than a typical field consul, excuse me, or a proconsul. And he also has the benefit of his uh, master of the horse, uh, the uh, magistrate Equitum, uh, and he is he is going to also have equi almost equivalent powers of the dictator as well. And these guys, so if you had uh, an emergency situation two turns in a row when it comes to the election phase, you're going to elect uh, new guys and uh, the, the same chaps can't be elected again, that's my understanding. Uh, or maybe they, and if they can, that's fine. They're going into the bucket and they're being pulled out. But uh, they're not supposed to, uh, you can't just leave them in the dictatorship role. They have to be, in parentheses, elected, right? Okay, uh, and that would mean, uh, I believe, that uh, you don't use the consuls and you just use the proconsuls and praetors uh, for the turn to round out your command capability. Uh, there's some various other uh, issues and concerns with proconsuls and, and consuls with how many armies they're able to control and how effective they are at controlling those armies. And you can see those, they're all in the rules and that's easy, easy enough to see. And, and there is a nice little chart that kind of summarizes all that in the rule book on the back of the political, the gray political uh, charts deal. Uh, I'm just looking here. Uh, the emerg I think I've already mentioned to you previously what the emergency conditions are. Um, so we won't, we won't go into that. And that was really all I wanted to tell you about the dictators. Let me see if there are any extra notes in this chap's other rules that he had here. Elections, consuls, field consuls, dictators. Okay. Yeah, you select one. Now, a dictator can also be appointed uh, middle of the turn. So if the circumstances arise that you are in a position where you could appoint a dictator, you pull one from the, from the cup and he can be appointed uh, then and there. Uh, specifically, you can select one from the magistrate pool that has previously had a triumph or randomly select one from the pool. Uh, he can command up to uh, two consular armies, more with sent permission, and he's the overall commander and he'll be superior to everybody. Uh, he's free to go anywhere uh, unless he uh, appoints a magister equitum. Uh, equitum. Uh, then he's going to have to stay in Rome. And I think there's a lot of advantages for having him stay in Rome because if you're rolling for uh, permission for things, uh, his initiative rating is going to uh, start is going to come off that uh, role as a beneficial DRM. Uh, you place him on the map uh, in Rome, obviously enough. All right, and he gets one lamb. If there is a dictator, you may choose to appoint uh, this uh, Equitum chap as a military assistant. Uh, if the dictator stays in Rome and does not assume a field command of any of the armies outside of Rome. That's how he ends up entering the board. Uh, he's going to uh, be selected. Um, oh, now here's something interesting. Specifically select the magistrate uh, from the pool of IDs whose ID number is within five of the dictator's ID number. That's an interesting, I don't know why that is the case, but there you go. Uh, he can command two double legions plus auxiliaries. Uh, he's the overall commander and superior to everybody except for the dictator. And he is free to go anywhere on the board, which is a significant benefit, no die rolling for him. And uh, you place him on the map with his magistrate counter. He can be in Rome or with a consular army in Italy. And in this case, you can place him according to the following priorities. In the same hex as the previous office holder uh, with a unit belonging to with the unit belonging to that consular army or legion. And then you add his lamb to the cup as well. All right, that probably gives you a little summary of, what, of how dictators will work. Uh, we'll come back 
uh, to Carthage in a, a little bit. And we'll have a look at the map overall and let's have a little talk about some of the opening moves and things that, uh, that either need to happen or can happen so that you can best be prepared as a Roman or Carthaginian player to prevent or make certain of a or a victory. Talk to you soon.